six to us. So I try to say six to ten. Wait, next Saturday, yeah. man, maybe I'll walk by in fellowship with y'all, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, I've been man. praying to meet some brothers that's in the work. Because all my friends, man, they, you know, they not into that. Yeah, it oh, don't matter what they, they in, you know, yeah, so that, um, I've been praying. Yeah, get that scripture and say the same thing. I've been praying for us to have like-minded, you know, people I can fellowship with. You know, this is like your friends, they're like, they ain't some friends. No, nah, they not. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Because I'm staying away from them. Yeah, kind of, once you get into, into this knowledge and everything, you, 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 you become like a um, soldier. Yeah, kind of. And when people, like, to the world, you look like a weirdo. But it's cool, but I, I want that set apart yeah. spirit. Exactly. Hey, y'all, y'all don't want to hear what I'm saying? Exactly. Man, you keep asking me why you got so many problems, but you don't want to follow the commanders or nothing. That's right. And that, well, that, that's all that I'm trying to check. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, that's yeah. the so from, be from telling 15 them. to 16 is all the curses. I'll be telling them. And then, yeah, you know, they went, like, man, come on. Nah, man. Bro, bro, let's go look at these girls. <laughs> exactly, yo. And that's nah, crazy. Nah, and that's crazy, yo. We be talking about that too, man. Cause they're like, like dudes, man. When you hear that, you know that like they don't want to hear no knowledge, nothing like that. Man. And they say it tells you not to. Uh, dad, you said we need to proverbs. Don't fast and follow some mind or put these people or something like that. That probably was cool. What else? I'm not with you. <laughs> but. Oh, nah. Yeah, kind of, kind of, kind of, I see, I see. But no, you got that, you got that. I'm just going to give this one script a little bit. Yeah, I'm glad to have met y'all. You know what I mean? I'm seriously concerned. I've been praying for some like that. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. yeah. We also have a YouTube channel, too, man. What's your uh, channel? It's TMO. Oh, GMA, I've seen a few of y'all videos. Yeah, this, is, uh, this is uh Matthew chapter 12, verse 47. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to speak with thee. But and this is just your how was I talking about my father? He said, Who is my mother and brother? Yeah, I know, man, I'll be studying the word for it, brother. I'm sorry. It says, but he answered and said unto him, and told him, Who is my mother and my and who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand towards his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren, for whosoever shall do the will of my Father, which is in heaven, the same as my brother and sister and mother. Right, amen. So now you got to separate yourself from even family, man. Yeah, yeah, friends, the world, basically. It's fine, man. Because uh, my, my loyalty is to the most high. That's, right. That's you know, great. So, and I tell him all the time, I say, all right, let's go to the like my, 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 oh, especially the older family members, they be like, oh, oh we, you ain't the faith and grace. I'm yeah. like, okay, the, the law's done away with I'm like, all right, so thou shalt not steal. So you mean to oh, tell they me? said the law done away with Yeah, it. yeah. I'm like, you mean to tell me the law is done away I'm like, you mean to tell me, I said, I'm going still right now. And then come outside and say, oh, Lord, please forgive me. That's cool. No, it's not work, work like that. that. Yeah, it don't right. work like right. that. You're right, because we're like, yeah. there's some church that tell you, they under grace, but yeah, they don't even understand that. They don't even understand it because that's all positive, man. I tell them what? You, you still can't uh, willingly go out and say No, you know can't. I'm, I'm, I'm like, like, what? The law is good, man. It's, it's, it's good. So I, got, I want to try to follow it. And, you know, the testimony of our Messiah, Jesus Christ. Well, what's wrong with that? You, you know, I, I'll be telling them, what's wrong with that? Like, uh, uh, I gotta go, y'all. Uh, it says, it's up Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. Think not that I have come to destroy the law of the prophets. I have not come to destroy it, but to fulfill. Right, man. So when they talk about the law, it's going to be with them, man. Keep reading. Not one jot or two. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For, yeah. Ver for verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, um, one jot or one tittle shall not shall in no wise pass from the law, so all be fulfilled. And if anyone breaks the least of these laws and teaches men to do so, they will be called least in the king. That's right, man. You got guys out here doing that. Yeah, and, and it's right there. It's right there. And I don't know why, understand why. I know that's, we that's, blind that's, that's and point. Yeah, it's right that's, there. That's playing at some point, man. You know, man. Brothers, I got to go. I'll right, see y'all next Saturday, man. To you. All right, come on. Right. Right. Well, right, well, well, man. man. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. So, yeah. yeah you see now, now brothers is waking up, man. You know? And this dude, like, he just walked up the street, man. That, that was a beautiful thing, man. See, it's over time. Wake up time early. You know? And then he, he got, you know, he, uh, <laughs> I keep reading. <laughs>
<laughs> no, I mean, I would have kept reading. Yeah, cuts. Cuts. <laughs> but I mean, that's good because that brother is, is interested in, in wanting to learn, man. The, unlike the other dude earlier, man, he hard ass up the street, though. He sat there and listened for a little bit, you know what I mean? So, yeah, man. Yeah, you say you used to be a soldier and great first. Man, man, it's locked up bullshit. <laughs> But yeah, man, like the man, that's the spirit taking us to that point, you know. Because like the like the guy said, man, you go to these Christian churches and all that, man. They 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 tell you, like he said, man, the law is done away with, you know. And then it even got into the scripture even further down when it talks about uh, they they be the least in the kingdom, man. That's talking about them guys in in, in various well, I ain't going to say camps or whatever, but guys that go out there and don't teach the name, don't don't teach prophecy, and just. And use the try to use the scriptures for their own filthy book, you know, or, or vain glory, so to speak. And you have a lot of gods that that, that do that, man. you know. But then, like I said, you, you got to be uh, patient to deal with our people, man. Well, this guy, he was kind of alright, but you just still have dudes that come out and be, you know, um, scoffers, man. Yo, I think I know. Guy, um, well, I mean, you know, like, like as far as the presentation of the video and all that stuff, like, he, I think I know what he's talking about. Like, I think I may have seen some Portuguese videos or something like that. What they like, bro? Like, like, I mean, I think it's just him sitting down and he'll, you know, it'll, it'll show his face and he'll talk and he'll like, like, But, uh, I mean, I'm sure there's, there's, you know, certain stuff that he's not teaching us correctly. Yeah, guys, that's our man. So I told him he gotta. He, well, you know, he he still like the brother said he only been the truth for about eight months, man. You know, and he's an older guy, so the Lord can wake up whoever, man. You know what I'm saying? And like it's still that's why we come out here week in and week out, man. Cause it's still it's like it's still work to be done, man. You know? Hey, man, the thing is, you know, what I'm saying you can wake up more people on the streets than you can like just talking to people. You know, individually and stuff like that, because you know, nine times out of ten, you know, the people we talk to individually, they're not really gonna, uh, they're not really gonna take heed to what we're saying, so especially uh, you know, your family and all that stuff. Not, they're not, they might be like, okay, you know, tolerate whatever you're saying, but they're just going kind of going one ear out the other. Because guys, nine times out of ten, he, he's a babe, man. You know? he, he, he new to this, freshly new. But you gotta start somewhere though, you know what I'm saying? And like like the brother said, man, you can't just uh like talk to your family members. You know, because they they going, like he says, gonna go on one ear and not the other ear, man. And they really don't care, they just gonna be a moron and all that so and so he's just crazy. That's why you gotta come out here and present your body like a living sacrifice, man. And deal with our people, man. Like I said, you gotta be patient to deal with these hard headed stiff neck people, man. Matter of fact, this is out of the book of First Peter. So it's a deal with patience, man. That's the book of 1 Peter, chapter 1, verse 7. It says, Salah, chapter 1, verse 7. It says that the trial of your faith being much more precious than, than of gold, that person, though, though it be tried with fire, might be found into praise and honor and glory at the at the appearing of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Yeah, because I mean, it's plenty. There's plenty of scriptures that talk about us being tried as gold and the first and adversity and all that stuff. So it's like, um, you know, basically we're, we're being, um, you know, the most high is basically seeing if we're worthy to be, you know, vessels fit to, for honor, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, yeah, so I mean, it's a lot of stuff we gotta go through to basically test us to, uh, you know, heat up that gold to see if it's pure and, you know, fit, you know, good, basically. Good. And yeah, man, just like that brother, man, he's being tried now. It's just the start of phases, man. you know? To see, to see what type of uh, uh, soldier you're going to be, man, to see if you can handle it, man. It's like saying it's tried in the fire, man. You know? Yeah, they were painting. Yeah, because like, you know, just like, you know, me and this brother, um, you know, started learning and stuff. I mean, at least me personally, it got to the point where I'm learning so much, but then, I just realized, you know, I had to, I, I know all this information, but I, you know what I'm saying? I got to go out and teach um, other other brothers. Like, um, I'm trying to think of scripture I was thinking about. 
we're talking about, um, you know, bid them to the marriage and the man for us. That's what I went through. You know, I'm trying to figure out. Basically, um, yeah, go ye to the highways and hedges and bid them to the marriage, you know, so that's what we're supposed to do, meaning go to the highways and hedges. Like right now, we're on a, one of the major uh, uh, arteries of Philadelphia, which is up Rush. And, you know, that goes from like North Philly, all the it, yeah, yeah. Start from like north, all the way north to like Vermont and all that, so all the way down to like South Philly and um, the end of the line, like uh, the AT&T station, that buys away with the stadiums and all that stuff. Yeah, you know? so yeah either that's, that's like I have a wedding or a wedding. We're, we're uh, abroad in uh, Cecil B. Moore, and that's where, you know, Temple University <laughs> right, is. Um, you know, the uh, what's the Leah Course Center, uh, you know, it's stores down here, it's the movie theater, it's, you know, a lot of business and the transactions and people that come by here so we can reach more people uh, here than we can, you know, talk to people individually. So that's why the scripture say, uh, go you to the highways and the hedges and bid them to the marriage. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to bring our people, you, uh, you know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we're trying to bring you back to the most high, you know, the spirit, the power of the most high in the sun, the, the word. And, um, you know, that guy, the guy, the brother that was just up here, you know, he's got to get to the point where he builds himself up enough to be able to, you know, do that. Because, like, I remember, um, I remember when I was in that other camp in Philadelphia, I remember, like, uh, you know, I had to basically get myself ready, prepared to go out and teach and all that stuff. So I'm like, damn, you know, I only know, like, 40 scriptures or something like that by heart. <laughs> I mean, you know, memorize, like, I don't think I can speak and all that stuff, but... I mean, it's like a process, you know, you got to build yourself up. Like, I remember, you know, I was like rehearsing, like in the mirror, you know, going over breakdowns and all this stuff, recording myself. And, you know, you got to get to the point where you don't have fear. Like, this, for example, um, let me see, this is, uh, this is uh, the book of Luke, chapter 14 and 23. It's the back of what the brother said, man, about hitting the highways and byways, man, highways and hedges. It says, and the Lord said unto the servant, go out, go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in the, in, in, in ah, Salak. Let me start it off. It's the book of Proverbs, ah, Luke chapter 14 and 23. It says, uh, and the Lord said unto the servant, go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. Yeah, yeah, so we're, we're the Lord's servants, you know, uh, the Israelites from the 12 tribes, you know, so we're supposed to go out and um, uh, proselytize, meaning convert people to our, our, the truth, basically, you know what I'm saying? It's not a matter, well, you know, we believe in it, but it's not a matter, it's the truth, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's our heritage, it's our power, you know, go up to the highways and hedges and bid them to marriage. So that's what we're supposed to do to our people. And um, I got another scripture, this is, uh, this is 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 it says for the most high have not given us a spirit of fear but a power of love and of a sound mind all right so the word power look that word up means ability so the most high gave us the ability and the spirit to basically come out here and to uh, you know give our people uh, to edify our people you know what i'm saying and it says a power of love brotherly love agape you know, because it's, it's our love for our people that we come out here and do this every every week. You know, we, we're constantly, you know, thinking of um, things that we can come out here and teach our people to help them better understand who they are and what their their purpose is, what they should be doing. You know, and mainly, you know, it's the Israelite man, so he can get himself in order and you can get his, his family, you know, somewhat in order, I guess, so he can function in society. Because, you know, you're not going to be able to get your family in order like how. Those other issues like talk because we're having a person where you can't you know? Exactly. It's also like, that don't mean, like I said, man, don't hide inside of your house, man, and be on the computer. Like that brother said, man, he goes from person to person. That's not what the scriptures tell you to do, man. You know, furthermore, that, that's that's being scared, man. Because you're dealing, it said the Lord ain't give us the, the spirit of fear, man. So if you got the spirit of fear, I mean, you that means you're going to people that you know personally, you know? And talking to them about what the scriptures say, man. So if the things get heated, you can be like, oh, you know, I'll just walk away. You know? No, you come out here on the highways and hedges where, where these people are complete strangers, man. You 
going bumping all kind of people going bumping the assholes, man. I want to scoff, and you going bumping the people that really want to hear it, man. But it said the Lord said, make this house, make his house full, man. And being full is bringing into his elect, man. For them people to get 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 the uh, message. Man. Yeah, it says uh, I'm reading again. Um, so Second Timothy one and seven, it says, for the Most High has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power <laughs> of love and of a sound mind. Right. And a sound mind means uh, basically, um, you know, self control. Right. So you can't come out here all crazy, man. Somebody say something to you, ready to rumble them and all that, man. That's not a sound mind, man. Furthermore, that's going to get you locked up. Then you ain't going to be able to come out here and always teach me. Yeah, I mean, it's been plenty of times, I'm sure, me and this, this brother, you know, people, people did shit to where we were ready to, like, get, get cardinal and whip some like that. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. at the end of the day, you know, we know that if we do that, you know, we locked up we can't teach the word and how it's a Bible as I was supposed to so that's why you know you gotta have self-control you gotta be disciplined you know what I'm saying yeah. I mean there's exactly. times when people yeah. like smack the sign spit on the sign do shit at us all this stuff but you know we didn't get to the point where we, we put ourselves in a situation where we got locked up or something to where we can't come out and teach the word you know yeah. and I'm uh, reading on it says it says be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord nor of me, his prisoner, but be thou partakers of the affliction of the gospel according to the power of the Most High. So it says, be not ashamed. It says, be not ashamed of the testimony. And um, so, yeah, so I mean, you know, the testimony is, you know, we're supposed to come out here and profess what we know, what we know to be the truth. So that's, you know, that's what we do. We don't just like, you know, hold it inside of us and, you know, just know that we know it. You know, we're supposed to come out here and profess it. We're supposed to, you know, like the brother said, you know, present our bodies a little sacrifice. You know, you don't, you, you know, you're not really, you know, you're not really uh, sticking your chin out, putting your neck on the line if you're, you know, just not coming out on the highways of Bible. You're not out in the comfort of your own home, man. You know, scared to death. Or, 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 or you get a church building where you can monitor who comes in and out, man. You know? Yeah, like, like, uh, so like, like um, I was watching this video about, you know, the false prophets and all that shit. You had like Joe Holstein, this dude, this Edomite came to his church and was basically stood up and just started saying stuff. Yo, they, his security came, they like ripped him up, like sorted him out and all that shit. Is that, yeah, like, but yeah, kind of not smart, man. Yeah, I mean, you, you, out here, that's not, you know, that's not gonna happen. They, they have, they, they got freedom of speech and all that shit. So you mean to tell me, yeah, like um, like, you know, like in his church or whatever, I guess I'm just mad that the, the guy's saying something that they don't agree with or whatever, or that's gonna take money out of his pocket, he's gonna like, Take them out, take them out. You know what I'm saying? And that furthermore, that's not even having faith, man. You know, when we come out on the on, on, on these highways and byways, man, and the hedges, and, and have faith that the angels are with us, man, to protect us, man. Say wherever two or three are gathered, man, that's where the Lord gonna have his he's gonna have his presence, man. You know, like anybody could walk up here right now, shoot at us, man, try to come up, stab us, man. I've been through those things, man. The brother here too, man. You know. Yo, but we don't, our, our security is your how about shim your how shot, man. That's it. You don't get no better security than that, man. But going back to what the brother was saying about, you know, we got to keep a, a sound mind, man. You know, be patient, man. So this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, 32. It says, he that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. And he that ruleth his spirit, then he that taketh the city, man. So you have to be slow to anger out here with these people, man. Because like, you know, on, on, on hot days and everything, you're going to have a whole lot of spirits out here, man, walking up and forth trying to test you, man. And they try you to try to bring you out to, out, out, out your spirit, out your character, you know. And that ain't nothing but the devil, man. You know, also the Lord trying to test you, you know, because to be a ruler and have a rulership mentality, man, you got to keep it cool, man. You gotta keep it cool, man. You can't come out here, you know. Of course, we come out here. We some weeks we wanna curse everybody out, man. You know, that's how your spirit gets sometimes. But you rebuke the hell out of them, man. You know. But that's not, you know, the, the what, what the whole doctrine is about, man. You're supposed to edify too. All right, you gotta come out here and edify. If you're not edifying, then then, then you're not doing nothing, man. You have dudes that. That you know that they lose their temper real quick, man. 
So if you lose your temper like that, that means you, you're, you're working with emotions for one. You're an emotional guy. That's like being a damn female, man. Because females work with emotions, man. All right. And, and, and they, 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 they don't think rationally. All right. As soon as something happened, you know, they quick to want to fight and all that. That's how women act. That's why the, the majority of these fights that be happening, the women start that shit. And that, like I was just watching on the news the other day, man. You know, they had a, a, a free fall in the school and it was all women. Because a man has the, has the mindset, they can sit there and talk it out. To a certain degree, man. Yeah, I think I don't believe it was. But I know it was a, it was a school when the, when the little uh, young women, man. Well, I ain't even gonna call them young women. Them little bitches. Yeah, it kind of, them fucking little bitches. Right, because that's all they are, vicious beasts, like the brother said, man. They just in there, just just going at it, man. End up knocking the teacher over and all that, man. And it, it wasn't not one dude in the video, man. Even in the hoods, man. If you from a hood, man, you know, man. Like it's a lot of stuff. It, it, it'll, it'll be a free fall, and the woman be the one that start that shit. Then you have dudes running around because that might be their cousin. You know what I'm saying? And 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 they start hitting bitches, man. You know. Then the other dudes get involved in that shit. You know, man, I see that shit too many times, man. But, man, but that's why you have to have patience, man. You know? You gotta have patience, man. You're gonna be tried. Or you can't just, somebody say something, oh, fuck that, man. Just a good dog. Matter of fact, uh, get so right. One in 23, brother, what's up? Because if you don't have patience, you don't have nothing. You know? And, and matter of fact, one of, one of the great examples of that is Yahweh Shah himself, man. He knew that he had to go uh, uh, get on that cross and all that, man. You know? Of course, you know, he and he and also he knew he knows that he that that this is his kingdom, man. That he, he's gonna, you know, that he he's gonna run the kingdom forever. And back then wasn't his time, so that was being patient. You know? It's uh, Sirach chapter 1, verse 23. A patient man will bear for a time, and afterwards joy shall spring up unto him. That's right, so a patient man will bear for a time, man. So that means you gotta you gotta endure and go through things, man. You know, you just can't lose control, lose, lose your self-control, you know. Because somebody looked at you the wrong way and said something. You know, and right now we, we gotta be patient in this society, man. Because at the end of this, at the end of this, you know, it's gonna we're gonna come into our kingdom, man. So knowing those things, a lot. I mean, you're gonna get mad, yeah, man. You know, because you look at the things once you start learning more and how how much you're oppressed and all that, man. Yeah, you're gonna get pissed off, man. But you still have to be patient. Man. All right, you have to be patient. See, look, that's what I was talking about earlier. Fucking nigga bitches, man. Y'all not the window, man. No fucking control, man. No control at all, man. But, you know, we have to be patient looking at this stuff, man. It's uh, 1 Peter 5 and 6. It says, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of the Most High, that he may exalt you in due time. That's right, man. So you humble yourself, man. You know? Come out here teaching this word, man. You know? Teaching your people. That's what we're supposed to do. And in due time, the Lord going to exalt us, man. Just like in the scripture when it talks about uh, you're going to make a, a man like like fine gold, man. Yeah, yeah, more precious than fine gold, man. Because right now, women walking past looking at us like we retarded and everything. Looking at our looking at our sackcloth. But we out here mourning. That's why we wearing this. That's another topic, man. You know, but we have to, you know, endure, man. And in the end, the Lord's going to magnify us, man. Because right now, the so-called black man is all jacked up, man. You know, and, they, and and our people is looked down upon us as the worst people on the face of this earth. Man. When you're actually the the the, uh, the the best people on the face of this earth, man. The Lord's children, man. But our people don't want to hear that, man. They're too, they're, 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 and then, first, furthermore, you know, they want everything now, man. You got a song by this nigga Meek Mills talking about I want it all, man. But he 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 ain't run away, man. He ain't had no patience. You know? 
we going to get it all in the kingdom. Right now is our time of suffering, man, endurance. It says, verse 7, 1 Peter 5 and 7, cast all your care upon him, for he cared for you. That's right, man. Cast all your care upon Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, man. He going to take care of you because he care about you, man. Especially if you're doing his work, man. If, you wanna, if, you, if, you, if you're his men, one of his men, Right, he gonna take care of you, man. So basically, you ain't supposed to have, I mean, the care in the world, man. All right, you supposed, uh, the only thing you're supposed to worry about is coming and teaching this word, getting the knowledge with the numbers under, ah, so the understanding of this word, man. Because you don't see animals walking around worried about where they gonna eat next. How they gonna pay their rent and all that. You know? You cast all that on your how about and your shot, man. He gonna take care of you, man. Especially if you're doing this work, man. And people don't have faith, man. That's why they always uh losing control, getting mad. You got niggas that can't pay their rent or whatever for whatever reason. They want to go out here and rob somebody. Man. Or try to kill somebody or whatever, man. They they they're not the so yeah, how will buy some outside is really not dealing with them and you don't care about them at this time, man. You know? You guys supposed to have no care in the world, man. The only care you're supposed to have is doing this work. That's 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 the whole duty of man. It's the fear of the most high, man. And do his bidding. And that I'm talking to you Israelites, man. You other nations, this doesn't apply to y'all. Alright? Because this book is for the Israelites, man. How you like <laughs> name that shit? Fubu? For us bars, man. This book is for us, man. Inspired by Yahweh, Mahashim Yahweh Shah, man. Alright, this is uh, this, uh, 2nd Ezra 14 and 14. It says, Let go from thee mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man, put off now the weak nature, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste thee to fly from these times. That's right, man. So, matter of fact, when all hell breaks loose, you, you better try now, man. So, like, read that one more time, Bubba Kishore, man. Because you got, these, these are things you have to do, man. It says, let go from the mortal thoughts. That's Cast right. So, let go from the mortal thoughts, man. That's the thinking of this world. Like, if you, if, if, if you don't, if you, un, uh, man, if you're not sure about something, you know, like people tend to like bug out over that, man. You're supposed to cast away more of thoughts. Your thoughts are supposed to be on, on, on these scriptures. Man. And if your thoughts is on that, you'll get the understanding. There ain't gonna be a bug out, man. Go ahead, all right? It says, let go from me, mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man. Yeah, cast away from the burdens of man. That's what, what all these people be worried about. You know, how I'm gonna pay my rent. Right now, where, where we at? We're in Temple College, so their burden, their burdens are, oh, how I'm gonna pay my tuition. You know? Yeah. Final damage. God, yeah. You know? Like, the, and, and though, if they, if they think they're not gonna graduate, you know? Especially you fucking goops, man. They be ready to kill themselves, man. Stressed out. You know? Go ahead, huh? It says, it says, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste thee to flee from these times. That's right, and haste thee to flee from these times. Right? So, it says, for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. That's right, man. Greater evils, man. That's greater, greater problems, man. Greater plagues. It's coming right here, man. You know? So, if you, if you can't Cast away the thoughts of this earth right now and, all, uh, and, and, and these things. These are small things. Once these greater evils come, then you really going to bug out and get taken out, man. It's on 2nd Ezra chapter 14, verse 17. It says, For lo, how much the world shall be weaker through age, so much more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. That's right, man. And that we going, well, we coming into those times right now, man. If you look around around the whole world, you see what's going on. But this, these things, when it gets America, Babylon the Great, man, it says it's, it's going to be times that's never been seen 
in history, man. It says, for the truth is fled far away, and leasing is at hand. And leasing is talking about like falsehood. That's right. So the truth is far away from here, man. Sa far. It says, for now, hasted, hasted, uh, hasted vision to come, which thou hast seen. That's right, man. So the vision to come, which thou hast seen, is knowing that we're going we're gonna to be rulers in the kingdom. Now, how do you see that? By reading the scriptures and 